Welcome to Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. This is Gav, I'm Joe, and today we're discussing what would traditionally be known as girls toys. We know these aren't necessarily girls toys, yeah. but they're what would be traditionally known as girls toys back in the 70s and 80s. That's it, they were toys made for girls. But as we know, like we love them. When, and as we know from previous videos, Cabbage Patch yeah. is in my top five toys. Yeah, and also with two men wearing uh, Care Bears badges. <laughs> so we're okay, we can get away with this. Um, and I love some of the girls' yeah. toys, but it's Gav, your real oh, your, it's, This it's, is one of your real passion. loves, isn't it? I really do. Yeah, so I mean, let's just go through it. Let's start with the early, the early stuff we've got. Here we go. Well, it's not early, early, but it's yeah, early-ish. It's, it's kind of what we're dealing with nowadays. Yeah. This is a Daisy, Daisy doll. Daisy long leg. She walks, swings her arms, and she's got a Mary Quant dress. It was a big seller. It was. We found loads of these outfits a few years ago, didn't we? Oh. And we popped them on the internet, and the outfits sell really well. This doll we've had for ages, and yeah. everybody forgets about it. But yeah. she's actually look at her hair. She's beautiful. She is. She's, she's not really nice. She's not for, not and for she's me. Got a badge. She's got curly hair. We could rock one of them badges next time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be me. There, the badge. Yeah. It's nice, oh, you've that. got to see the badge, it's so cool. And what else have we got down here? Open your eyes to the world of Blythe, the wide-eyed world of Blythe. Oh, the Blythe doll. Now, this is a Neo Blythe. This is one of the, uh, the, the, reissues. the newer ones, but this is a Hollywood, but she's got a new wig. She looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll just do her eye thing here, although she's a bit stiff. We'll see if it works. Here we go. There we go. Wow, green eyed and groovy. Beautiful. But I'll... slightly freaky. Oh, there she goes, stuck now. <laughs> Look at them pink eyes. My dad had only had one eye. Really? And he had a, he had a glass eye. And one, well, not a glass, he wasn't actually made of glass. <laughs> and uh, I remember once he was yeah. singing and he was going, he really went for it on this bit and his eye popped out oh, and rolled wow. off. Amazing. And we had to go and try and find his eye, <laughs> uh, which, was, which was fun. But I had, I had some Blythe's once. Yeah. I went to, this, oh, I, I, know, yeah. I went on holiday down to Cornwall and I was going around, because I, I can't go to car boots locally here, because otherwise you're going, oh, is that bloke? Because I'm quite recognisable. <laughs> uh, and, but I went, when I was on holiday in Cornwall, I went to this car boot. This must have been about seven years ago, I guess. Oh, yeah, it would ago. have been about then, yeah. And uh, this lady, I've got talking to this lady about old toys and I bought a couple of things off her. And she said, oh, I've got some dolls. And I said, oh, right, okay, what dolls are they? She went, oh, I don't know. They're, they're like Cindy dolls, they've got big heads. And I went, ooh, ooh. what's your next car boot you're doing? So she told me, and it was Resurgent Car Boot on the, <laughs> right on the south coast of Cornwall. And I went down there, met her, and she got two Blythe dolls. Ooh. And I'd never had Blythe dolls before. But you, I said, you, they're hard to get on. Yeah, yeah, I'd never had them before. Yeah. And, she just, and she told me how much they were. And it wasn't cheap. She knew they were worth good money. Mm. But I was like, oh, I'll take a chance. And I bought them. And I came home, well, I came back to the caravan, <laughs> and then put them on eBay, and it paid for my entire holiday. Yeah. It was great. Blythe dolls. I mean, even, even the new ones now, there's like, she's like a three or four hundred quid doll now. But I made that decision mm. based on the fact that I loved it enough that if it wasn't worth the money I'd pay You'd for it, I'd still it. kind of keep exactly, it and have yeah. it for the shop. That's so it. it was kind of like one of them things that my wife did look at me though because it was like the last bit of money we had. And I kind of spent <laughs> it and I thought, I've got to sell them somehow. Spent it on a doll. <laughs> on a do two dolls. <laughs> two dolls. But yeah, it was amazing. But yeah, it but took, yeah. paid for the entire That's holiday. It. But yeah, dolls for a long time. Girls' toys, it was just dolls, wasn't it? Yeah. Dolls yeah. and, you know, little cookware and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Then the 80s hit. Yeah. We had everything. You just got to do the list. The explosion, yeah. Ponies, yeah. snuggle bums. Snuggle bums have long, soft hair you can brush, and they keep you company at night because Mama and Papa light up with happiness when you hug them. Batteries not included. Don't call me that. Not in public. <laughs> Rainbow Bright. Care Bears. Oh. Cabbage patch, strawberry shortcake with the smell. Yeah, with the smell. And, like, smelly toys were a big thing in the eighties, well, weren't they? they? Scratch and sniff. Yeah, and yeah. Comics and things. Yeah, glow worms. Wuzzles. Um, what was the talking bear? Forgot his name. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. And uh, popples. This one's quite a uh, quite a rare one. Yeah, I can't remember where I got this one. This one's mine, my personal popple. Probably, probably from us years ago. I don't think it was actually. Mm. I think this was actually a car boot. Wow. We've done popples on videos before and failed, so we'll just <laughs> leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. yeah. yeah. <laughs> just sort of going well, we're in a yeah. mess with lots that. Lots of lots of legs. Oh, yeah. like, there's so many good yeah. 
like strange 80s toys. Toy designers really... They went for it. Yeah, and girls' toys seem to be a particular yeah. attraction. And even looking at like things like the She-Ra, the Princess of Power line. Exactly. She's lovely as a flower, but she has a secret power. A magic sword in one stroke, and she's got the strength of a tower. Lads that collect He-Man. Yeah. We'll also collect they'll, a bit of They'll a get bit into of, that a bit now. Of pop. But it was, it was basically He-Man for girls. Yeah, yeah. That's how they looked at it back then. And but these things went on extreme clearance. This one's got a really charming clearance. One clearance. dollar. One label. dollar. Look at it, the butterfly out, and it's oh, great. It's fantastic. It's one of my favourite things, the butterfly. And if you find these, quite often they're broken, the wings aren't particularly yeah. strong. But a fantastic toy, and all the dolls were really well. These these horses as well. Yeah. And like, what, what was good as well, because because they were geared towards girls, and they're like, what do girls like? They yeah. like dressing up their dolls. So, like, My Little Pony dress-up kits. How yeah. cool is this look? Fun run. There's another one called Flash Prance. Yeah, Flash Prance. <laughs> yeah. <is> great. <laughs> and you get all the little shoes and the little outfits. <laughs> it's, it's bizarre yeah. when you look at it now. I mean, in this weather, it would be. Imagine being a horse and then oh, getting dressed. A horse in that outfit. Oh, oh. dear me. <laughs> one of my favourites is the Tressy doll. I've mentioned this many times before. And also the the whole the Pippers as well. They are, I think, Blythe and Pippers probably mm. my favourite dolls. Yeah, um, I think my, one of my absolute favourites of the eighties toys, which we didn't mention in our Tommy video, we neglected yeah. to mention. Get along, gang. Yeah. Get along, gang. Get along, gang. Each one so special in his own way. They're so cheap as well. These these toys aren't expert. Well, a lot of them. Some are yeah. Blythe dolls, but the little Pippers. stuff. But the, the, the little bits and bobs, generally not expensive. You can get, a, you get great, a, really a great little display. For, yeah. Oh, yeah, spend 100 quid, you'll have a great Fantastic display. looking display, yeah. yeah. It's just finding the stuff. Mm. We, we are always trying to find more. Tell, tell you what we're missing here, which people remember keepers. Got a secret treasure to keep safe? You can keep it in a keeper. Keepers, keepers, what's inside those keepers? Fancy the snail, Tango the ladybug, and Sheldon the turtle are keepers. Fun friends with a secret hiding place, each sold separately. And each keeper comes with its own finder, twist, nightlight, and footloose. I love keepers. The swan, though, it goes so yellow. Yeah, they, every they, time they you find them. the plastic. If you've got a swan anywhere, and it's still nice and clean and good. Just keep it out of the sun. Yeah. Don't get it near anything because it will yellow straight away. It it's does. really bad. But there are fa there's a fantastic array of toys you can have. And this traditional oh. girls' toys that we have, we have so many guys that come in and collect this oh, stuff as absolutely. well. So many guys have gone on from collecting other lines to kind of going, oh, but I prefer this. And yeah, this is, this is nicer, cuter. I've got regular customers, which are, you know, some of them are big like guys, are like, mm. you know, like military guys, and they collect this as well yeah. as other lads' lines. Because it's all about your memories when you were a kid. That's it. How what they made you feel like, yeah. And I mean, maybe it's it's something like, yeah. you know, I remember my sister having. My sister's this is no longer just, with us. This is just what I was going to say. My sister, yeah, she had all the strawberry shortcakes, and now I love them. It's yeah. like back then, it's like now. Nah. Yeah. But now I've got them all. Little dolls from the strawberry shortcake in her friends' collection, each sold separately, each with a separate smell. Strawberries, raspberries, it's popsicle strawberries here. Now I'm well, I grew up with girls' toys because although my sister was 21 years older than me, Penny, my my old my, I've got two sisters, Vivian and Penny. But Penny, the next one up from me, um, Penny had learning difficulties, so Penny lived at home with my mum and dad mm. and me, and helped. She walked me to school every day, and when we went on holiday, she always had a doll with her. Ah. She just carried a doll with her. So you get this fully grown woman with her little doll, <laughs> and it was like I kind of grew up with this. And me and Penny would look through the catalogues together. Ah, brilliant! It was it was it was such a nice sort of thing. To, it was a special thing, really, having that. So, yeah, it's nice for me. It's like a really fond memory. Cabbage Patch Kids, I remember really wanting one. Yeah, all, everyone wanted it. Bear, bear in mind, I was, you know, she was probably like 30 at the <laughs> yeah. time. She really wanted this Cabbage yeah. Patch doll. I mean, Mum was like, no, you're not having one of them. They're too ugly. And she wouldn't <laughs> let her have them based on that. Well, I wanted them, but they were too expensive. They were mega the big money, dolls. Weren't they? yeah. And they were like, they were like rampaging and in the stores. What do we tell our little girl Christmas morning? What are we supposed to say? You've been good, but Santa ran short? Penny was loaded, though, because she had disability oh, benefits at the time. Go. So Penny she, had she excess money. She could afford them pricey dolls. Well, I'll tell you what, whenever I went <laughs> shopping at the weekend, I'd go with Penny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Penny, She'd yeah. look after you. Oh, Penny, just going to get me a Matchbox car. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very fond memories. And that's what brings a lot of collectors to it, mm. I think. So his relationship. If yeah. you didn't have them when you were a kid, you still... And it was kind of... And plus, back then, like... In the 80s, for example, yeah. it's very, very different now. Yeah. But boys 
had to have. You had to be a boy. You had to have the boys' toys. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, your mum and dad would be sort of like, no, yeah. you can't have a doll. What are you on about? Luckily, my, my mum was like, yeah, all right, have some cabbage well, patch. I got into collecting stickers, yeah. and I've mentioned this before, <laughs> but I had the Care Bear sticker album. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could have done swaps. <laughs> but I had the Care... And I had the football sticker albums. I had the, the WWF, mm. which led to another embarrassing story, because I meant WWF as in the World Wildlife, <laughs> World Fund. Wildlife Fund. <laughs> Not the wrestling thing, which led to a massive uh, a sort of confusion with some kids at school who thought I'd got these uh, wrestling yeah. uh, stickers. That rare, that rare panda. I was trying to swap a panda <laughs> for, a, for a... I don't know what they were called, you know. Yeah, uh, oily Joe. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, well, it was hot. You know, it's a yeah. hot day. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's all the, but he's brought up already. Just us talking about this for five minutes, he's brought up all these great yeah, stories, exactly. all these great memories. And I had a doll's house as well, oh. because of my sister Penny playing with stories. Mm. I had a doll's house, and I clearly remember my Luke Jedi <laughs> making his way up the stairs to bed <laughs> with. Um, do you remember you got the little? Uh, I think they were Dutch dolls made out of like um, like wood. Oh, the, the um, um, not the Russian dolls. No, no, like wooden... Um, oh, little peg dolls. Peg dolls, yeah. yes. And they, they, I remember Penny had loads of them, ah, so that was... Uh, that was uh, That's cute. And Luke was a lot smaller. Dolls house-wise, I used to use the Haunted Badger Mansion. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. Long yeah. Gang for everything. Yeah. It's had some great features, the skeleton, and drop down and scare everyone. And they're still so cheap. The Get Along Gang I know. is such a but good I saw, I saw a Haunted Badger Mansion in the box for like 20 quid yeah. on a group the other day. I mean, I don't, it's great. I have no... I mean, was there a, was there a TV show time with that? Get Along Gang, yeah. yeah. I didn't know, you see, because yeah. obviously I didn't have a telly. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> get it in there for the uh, people that, that are fans of that. No one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that Get Along Gang Haunted Badger Mansion, mm -hmm. I can't imagine what a Haunted Badger Mansion is. <laughs> But it wouldn't be that. I don't. I don't think that was in the TV show. I think no. they just made that. Right. But the clubhouse caboose. That, that, was, that was where they lived. I mean, badgers are quite dangerous. You've run them over. Yeah. But that's. That's it. They're coming back to get you. Yeah. After you have wrecked your car, um, hitting them. My my ex father in law had. Uh, he once hit a badger, mm. and he did that thing where it turned upside down. Yeah. Not punched it. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, he didn't do that. I mean, like in his car, yeah. and it, it did that thing where it turned upside down. And it ripped half the underside of his yeah, car, off and yeah. it ripped, wrote his car off. It's and a you powerful really beast, the badger. They're amazing, massive thing. Yeah. Anyway, enough talking about that. <laughs> we've done so we've done girls' toys, wildlife, <laughs> yeah, uh, sticker books, yeah, sticker books. Were a bit, we should do a sticker book video. We we'll do a sticker book. Yeah, yeah we'll have to do that. Yeah. We need to get some sticker books. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Is that us done? I think. Yeah, we've well covered the, the uh, well. Yeah. We've covered what we've got. There's so many more. Yeah. But what was your favourite girls' yeah. toys? Let us know in the comments below. I'm a silly too. And what? Are, are you just... silly too? Are you silly too? Yeah, let's see. I'm a Mickey Mouse I'm a Mickey Mouse kitty. Yeah, very good. She's got a fag bird yeah, there. Yeah, she sounds possessed as well, do yeah, it again. She's... I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, I don't like them anymore. I've got enough girls' toys. <laughs> Remember to click. Click stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, subscribe, and uh, follow us for more of this, uh, these shenanigans. Yeah. More, uh, more rambling about badgers and yeah. all sorts. Well, you, know. you never know. <laughs> it's one of them places. See you next time, folks. Bye. <laughs>